Now the undock command has been sent. We're uh, awaiting confirmation of two sets of hooks. Uh, there are six hooks on each set to uh, uh, start to unlatch. Once they're unlatched, uh, the dragon itself will execute a series of undocking burns and we'll see physical separation of the dragon from the International Space Station. As mentioned earlier, the relocation will free up Harmony's forward port for docking for the docking of another commercial spacecraft built to carry humans, Boeing's CST-100 Starliner. Here's the new docking location for today, and here's, of course, the Starliner that will be coming up on uh, July 30th and arrive at the station uh, about 24 hours later, launching on July 30th. First set of hooks open and nominal. Good news there. Call out the first set of hooks is open, and we're now going to listen in for the call out of opening the second set of hooks. As those second set of hooks continue to drive, uh, it will be very shortly after they are finished driving and we have successful confirmation that those last set of hooks are, are done uh, from unlatching. Uh, very shortly after that, we should be seeing physical separation from this camera view. Uh, that tar docking target you're seeing right at the crosshairs, the center of the camera view from the uh, Dragon itself. Uh, we'll start to see that view getting uh, a little bit smaller as Dragon itself backs straight away to the 60 meter mark. After the hooks have retracted, Dragon will fire its Draco thrusters in two short bursts to break the stiction between it and the docking port and physically separate from station. So we'll be able to see that here just momentarily. Looks open and nominal. Okay, we see separation. Separation is confirmed. That's a copy. Okay, as you can see there, undocking confirmed of Crew Dragon Endeavor from the International Space Station on time at 5.45 a.m. Central, 10.45 GMT, while Station and Dragon flew approximately 263 miles over the South Pacific, flying west of Chile. Dragon separation visually confirmed. Copy. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. Relocate burn zero complete. Double copies. Also heard the call out there that the relocate burn was complete. That was the final of the three burns of the uh, the service section Draco's performed. That final relocate burn lasted about 21 seconds. Dragon already about 50 meters away from the station. It's heading to a 60 meter hold point before transferring to the new docking axis.
Dragon is working to acquire LiDAR tracking, which will be used by Dragon to autonomously execute this relocation maneuver. Like Gary mentioned before, we expect it to back straight away to about 60 meters. From the external cameras of the International Space Station, you can see there in the distance uh, the Crew Dragon holding uh, right now at about 87 meters from uh, its original docking port. Teams are analyzing the, uh, the making sure that Crew Dragon itself is ready to, for the next maneuver to transition to the new docking axis. Right now you can see it directly in front of its original docking port. It'll swing uh, upwards from this view uh, to the new docking port that's on the zenith or space-facing side uh, of the International Space Station's Harmony port. Now we will be getting some periodic views uh, from the International Space Station during today's port relocation maneuver. The Dragon itself has maneuvered from the uh, original docking access and past the midway point. Uh, we're now in the final stretch of the uh, transition from the midway point, which is the halfway marker between the original docking access and the new one. And Dragon, you see now, is making its way to the new docking access on the space-facing side, uh, really pointing right out towards the space. That's where the International Docking Adapter 3 is located. We're in the final stretch uh, and now starting to get some views uh, from the International Space Station of Crew Dragon Endeavor in the final stretch of this transition from the midway point to the new docking axis. And we're getting views from the external cameras of the International Space Station. You can see the forward end of the Dragon right there, that soft capture ring uh, fully extended. And the uh, sequence for moving in from waypoint 2 to docking has begun. We're now inside uh, 20 meters from the International Space Station. This sequence, um, as we move in, uh, will take about four minutes until we get a contact and capture of the Dragon bringing our four crew members inside Dragon back inside the International Space Station. Some of the calls you heard uh, uh, during this approach, uh, we of course have Mark Van Hai inside the International Space Station monitoring the approach. Of course, with the four crew members of the Dragon itself inside uh, watching the sequences here. 
The big loop you're hearing is a communications channel of the uh, space to ground communications as well as dragon to ground. So all the all the communications you're hearing is being heard by uh, the ground teams here in Mission Control Houston as well as Mission Control in Hawthorne and of course the crew inside Dragon as well as inside the International Space Station. We're now 15 meters in closing. Love to see this view of the Crew Dragon approaching the space station autonomously, driving itself. If you recall from the previous version of uh, Crew Dragon, excuse me, the previous version of Dragon, uh, the cargo capsules, uh, we they they dock to the station actually not by docking but by berthing, uh, which essentially required the robotic Canada arm to grapple the spacecraft and bring it to the station manually. Uh, so to see Crew Dragon, this upgraded version, flying uh, on its own without any assistance um, and able to dock autonomously with the space station is a, an awesome capability that's just so great to see with uh, our eyes here. Ten meters. Copy. Ten meters. At ten meters away from this vantage point, uh, you see the Earth there in the lower left corner. We're now flying 262 statute miles over India. Great shot of the forward. Five meters. Great shot of the forward end of Crew Dragon there. Located near the top are the forward Draco thrusters, which of course are not be being utilized for today's maneuvers. All the maneuvers are managed with the service section Draco thrusters. Crew hands off point, three meters in closing. Hands off. Copy, hands off. Capture confirmed. Copy, soft capture confirmed. And with that, we have a confirmed contact and soft capture. Dragon and Station were uh, flying 262 miles over western China. That docking time, 6.35 a.m. Central Time, 11.35 GMT.